In the next couple weeks, there's a lot that we need to do, right? So I'm hoping to get here back uh, from the sign woman today. So it's going to pop out two inches, all that other stuff. And yeah. Okay. Zubin, uh, I known for over a decade, a Stanford doctor. He married one of my friends from college. Around about 2010, I decided to make these videos as a kind of an outlet for all the kind of burnout and frustration I was feeling. And he kind of took notice because I would send them to him every now and again because I know he has a certain quirky sense of humor. And um, I think uh, my favorite one is where he's trying to promote checking for testicular cancer. Uh, there's a line in there when he was able to rhyme metastasize. You got to realize it could metastasize. <laughs> I've never heard anyone do that before. He, um, at that point, approached me uh, and my family and said, here's this thing we're doing in downtown Las Vegas. It's um, a little bit unusual. OK. So he said, clearly, something's not sitting right with you. That's the type of person we want in downtown. So drop everything, move your whole family to downtown Vegas, and help us fix medicine. And I was like, what? So this is uh, 701 Bridger. This is the future home of Turntable Health, our downtown wellness center. It's a complete revolution to a time when you know, healthcare was about human relationships. It was more organic. Uh, it was about touch and feel, and I think that's been lost currently. Literally, we spend about 4% of our um, healthcare spend on primary care, and the other 96% is spent on the failure of primary care. Paying people to do things to people instead of for them makes no sense at all. So this allows us to bring this sort of high-touch, relationship-based care that used to be reserved really for only for the rich to everybody. And it's so much dovetails into what Tony's doing with this idea of bringing the community together to help each other be accountable for their health care. We're going to have a library, resources, all kinds of classes. The idea is that so much of health care is here that if we can develop that relationship, not just with the patient, but with people who are with them, their family, their friends, in that space, that's where a lot of the healing occurs. And we want to be a catalyst for that. Are you done doing all the busy work? Good news and bad news. The good news is you guys have done all the heavy lifting. Yeah. The bad news is I didn't get to help. Today is the day we get to move into our clinic. I think trying to ask a physician to move medical equipment in most states would get you arrested by some kind of medical board authority. But here, since it's such a collaborative culture, it's just expected that everybody pitches in. I am putting together an automatic blood pressure machine, like a vitals machine. To see that crew in the space, actually absorbing it all and coming up with ideas of how they would make it their own and how it would serve patients, that's pretty remarkable. Herbal Herbs has this whole little thing you can come in there. Yeah, I've seen those, there. the safe baby drop-up. I think it'd be great. I'm just excited about being able to deliver healthcare the way that I intended to when I started nursing school. Getting the chance to teach and learn all the time, time is really exciting to me. Seeing progress, seeing all the furniture and Getting closer and closer, it's almost surreal. To see a kind of kooky, outrageous dream come to, to life and actually manifest physically, and then you realize this is actually going to be filled with patients getting amazing care and connecting and working on themselves with members of their community, like, I, it's, it's going to be awesome. They call me Sarge. Sarge. Welcome. Oh, you I've never like, gotten the flu, ever. You don't like needles. Yeah. I can needles. tell you're scared. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> you're scared to get a shot. <laughs> let's, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm gonna walk. All right, let's do it. All right. The visit exceeded my expectations. I felt like they really cared about me. I mean, the guy got a flu shot with me. I've never heard of anyone doing that before. Are there any goodies? We have walk-ins. I heard 11 patients. Hi, Barry. Neil, go bold. Nice to meet you. That's a big first day, that's great. It is. Somebody walked in off the street with a jacked up thumb, that's a medical term, I believe. Close fracture of the navicular bone. We got in a fight with somebody. Oh, Let me know right. if I can help, you have my email. We saw them and got them enrolled and got them seen and taken care of. I mean, that is what we're trying to do for the community. If we get this right, you kind of open your eyes one day and it's an entirely new system from scratch. And it all starts with a grassroots, ground up effort to change everything.